best 10 JDM cars you have to know. Nissan Silvia, Toyota MR2, Honda S600, and more. Hello and welcome back to MIA Luxury Cars. For today's video, we will be going to talk about the best 10 JDM cars you have to know. Let's get it on. Number 1. ST205 Celica GT4 Gran Turismo nerds will recognize this car from Gran Turismo in its classic Castrol livery. However, its magic does not end with racing. Mountain racers, car show nerds, and classic car collectors all adore the street car. And right now, I don't think you can do better than the ST205 as a used car because it's practical, amazing, a limited edition, comes with a little plaque, and has a rally race racing history. For less than the price of a GTR, you'd just be another GTR guy. Number 2. EK9 Civic Type R the first-generation Civic Type R has already been tuned to one of the best tuning platforms ever, also known as the EK9 Type R. It's the sixth-generation Civic, but this is the first time we've seen the Civic Type R. This is the pinnacle of front-wheel drive technology. It has four-wheel drive, excellent handling, and just enough power to be fast. Honda does not have a bad performance car when it comes to performance cars and the EK9 Type R has a lineage of Type R's that are just incredible. The ones that are coming out now are just dominating and with the next generation of a Civic Type R coming. Number 3. Honda S600 one of the cutest and best sports cars of all time is the Honda S600. If you were alive in the 1950s, you would have recognized them as a nice motorcycle company. That was basically their entire advertising campaign. On a Honda, you meet nice people rather than evil Harley riders. Anyway, back then, Honda was making the Honda S500, but it was mostly kind of flat, and nobody was really buying them. But Honda hadn't given up on the automotive market yet, so they slapped a 600cc advanced motorcycle engine inside their S500 and dubbed it the S600. It's a brilliant naming convention. And what they had created was essentially a Japanese version of a reasonably priced, dependable British sports car. A car that doesn't break down on you in a novel concept. That it's still something Honda uses to this day. So, similar to the LS400, the Honda S600 bred what was the Honda brand. So yes, the JDM craze began in 1960s and peaked in the 1990s with all of these high horsepower legendary cars. Number 4. Lexus LS400 Lexus exists in the realm of large bodies Toyotas. This is a million mile luxury cruiser powered by one of Toyota's greatest engines, the 1UZ. The origins of Lexus and the incredible engineering of the LS400 would be a fantastic video in and of themselves. The LS400 was designed in Japan. To dominate that, it could compete with the best brands in Europe. Number 5. Suzuki Escudo the red Escudo, which we all know from Gran Turismo and not really anywhere else, is one of the most insane cars ever put in a video game. Back in the old Gran Turismo 2 and 3 days, this was essentially the money cheat car. It was a 1000 horsepower rally car that could do wheelies around the speed ring without having to hold the controller. However, this ridiculously difficult to pronounce car is a real rally car with a lot of horsepowers that competed in the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. One of the most thrilling and dangerous races on the planet, it managed to finish the second four years in a row. Number 6. Veilside FDRX7 
one of the most iconic tuner cars ever built, the Veilside FDRX7, which you've probably seen on Tokyo Drift or in every import tuner car magazine growing up. Look, the base model FD3S is one of the most beautiful cars ever built. If you saw one on the street today, you probably wouldn't notice the supercar behind it. However, tuning firm Veilside was dissatisfied with the body work. They wanted to make it bigger, better, and fishier as they usually do. Veilside transformed the already elegant and beautiful FD into a supercar, and they didn't just change the bodywork. This thing was tuned from top to bottom. It is one of the most recognizable, iconic, and wind tuner cars ever built and wind tuner cars ever made, and it has been part of popular culture for decades, especially since you are familiar with Tokyo Drift. Number 7. SW20 Toyota MR2 the MR2, and more specifically, the SW20, which is the MR2 perfected. Toyota had a lot of ups and downs with its mid-engine two-sitter, including a reputation for being extremely dangerous. However, the second generation, also known as the SW20, is probably the best looking and most fun to drive because it has freaking turbos and will be remembered as the greatest MR2 generation ever if only for the fact that it had pop-up headlights they're downright evil to work on and they're extremely rare and difficult to come by number eight v12 supra the Supra was built in the wee hours of the morning by Smokey Nagata, a big brain at Greddy at that time. As a result, the company he founded is known as a top secret. He basically built it undercover. Fortunately, the secret has been revealed, and we were able to witness the birth of his V12 Mark IV Supra. This was also witnessed by the police, and he got into a lot of trouble. But that's another story. Where did he get the V12? You'd be surprised to learn that he obtained it from an old Toyota. Toyota built a V12-powered sedan called the Century, and by all accounts, it's not a bad motor for a V12. While this may not seem like a big deal today, when engine swaps are practically everywhere, it was a big deal back then. Especially when you consider, he basically took one of the best engines ever made out of a car to put in a worse engine. Number 9. Nissan Silvia the Nissan Silvia, also known as a 240SX, a 180SX, an S13, S14, or an S15. And the Nissan S13 Silvia was the ambassador of drifting in my day. Corolla 86 was introduced, but none of us could afford them, and we all wanted a little more horsepower. So we all had 240s XS, and that is what makes it so iconic to so many Many more people. It was a Nissan performance car that anyone could afford. Many of us can't even afford a Z. Nissan is missing out on having a cheap rear wheel drive manual sports car for a sale that's under $30,000. Number 10 Nissan R35 GTR. We all love the Japanese sports car battles from 1990s. Nissan was the only one who kept it going despite the odds. We didn't get an Eclipse, and we still don't have a Supra. There's no more Evo. So Nissan is really the only one carrying the torch right now. And that torch is burning bright with the R35. It's an incredible piece of machinery, and yes, it's old. But that's because it's so damn good. So which cars has caught your interest, and which car do you consider to be the best? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.